Hello and welcome to another edition of Zula La. If you could design the ultimate predator, what would it look like? If you took the best bits from each top predator and combined them to form a supreme being, you would generate the ultimate pin-up poster animal. And that's just what I want to do. I want to make the ultimate monster mashup from some of people's favorite animals. To form the bedrock of this new creation, I need an animal with some serious strength. So, which is the most popular power animal? The strongest animal. Strongest? Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't have to be like the, the silverback kind of gorilla. Super strong, maybe an elephant. It's the re relative to size, isn't it? Because ants, ants can carry something that's far greater than their own weight. That's right. It's definitely the rhino, undoubtedly. It's huge. They can kill elephants. A gorilla is said to be around six times stronger than the average human. In absolute terms, the African elephant is by far the strongest animal. They can lift up to 25% of their own body weight. However, relative to their size, this is pretty lame. The real strength champions are in the insect world. Thanks to a special exoskeleton, one species of dung beetle can pull up to 1,141 times its own weight. That's like me pulling six fully loaded double-decker buses. So our new species should definitely have the exoskeleton of a dung beetle, giving it strength with the added benefit of armor. But what about speed? Which animal's legs or wings should provide the propulsion? The fastest land animal, I guess, would like be a cheetah or an ostrich. The fastest? Yeah. Um, a uh, peregrine falcon. Maybe a swift? Golden eagle, maybe. Or in the sea? Yeah. Um, I don't know, a shark? Marlin, I think, maybe. Inevitably, yeah, it's got to be the blue whale. Biggest, biggest mammal on Earth. Definitely the fastest. The blue whale, the largest animal to ever live on this planet, is sadly not the fastest. It can reach a top speed of approximately 30 miles per hour, but this is nothing compared to other ocean dwellers. The marlin can reach speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, but its close relative, the sailfish, can speed through the water at up to 70 miles per hour, the fastest of any fish. They're propelled by a large rigid tail fin, so our new species has definitely got to have one of those. Okay, wings. Lots of people have suggested the peregrine falcon, which is an excellent choice. They've been recorded to reach speeds of 186 miles per hour as they dive through the air. But it's not super quick in level flight, nor can it fly for a particularly long time. The swift, on the other hand, is the master of endurance. It has the ability to fly for two to three years without ever having to touch the ground. And it can reach top speeds of 69 miles per hour in level flight. So I think we found our wings, but what about legs? Well, we just can't ignore one of my favorite animals, the cheetah, the fastest animal on land. It has a set of non-retractable claws which kind of act like permanent running spikes. Beat that, Usain Bolt. So with legs, wings, and a fin, our brand new species should be able to tackle most habitats. But how would it tackle its prey? This new species needs some serious weaponry. Deadliest. I know hippos are deadly. Lion. I think I go for snakes. Rhinos. Uh, there are some really vicious frogs and things. It's got to be the polar bear because it's the largest land predator on the earth. So it can catch like beluga whales. The largest living land carnivore is the polar bear and is definitely not one to be messed with. It's said to have enough power to swipe a human head clean off its shoulders with one swipe of its paw. The frog might not sound like the most deadly creature, but the golden poison dart frog from Colombia is said to be the most toxic vertebrate on the planet. They have enough toxin on their skin to kill 10 fully grown men, but it's the mosquito that's responsible for taking the most human lives. The parasite that they carry causes 2 million malarial-related deaths each year. It's only the female of certain species that actually drink blood, but when they do, they guzzle lots of it. That's a bit like me guzzling down 120 pints on a Friday night. The mosquito has to be a part of our ultimate animal. But what should we call the new species? And just what does it sound like? Let us know in the comments box below. And we'll see you next time on Zulala. Usain Bolt, watch and learn. <laughs>